Hi, this is Ben from Ohio Wesleyan University, and I'm here to tell you that it gets better. Growing up, I was terrified of who I was. I didn't know what to do with the feelings I was having, and they scared me to death. I grew up in a very, very conservative Christian family with very conservative Christian grandparents, extended family. I mean, everyone was very by the book to a point literal translation of the Bible type people and um, being gay wasn't something that we really talked about or if it was talked about it wasn't talked about in a good light and you know coming out has been hard I've lost a lot of friends from my old churches people who I you know, would have considered friends and people who I would have considered mentors but through the process of coming out I've found amazing people who have supported me, who have loved me for who I am, and it gets better. I could tell you so many things that have happened in my life because of this, both good and bad, but the thing that I've realized through it all is that once you get to college, your life will change so much. You will meet new people, people who don't care about your orientation, people who will love you for who you are regardless of what you believe. You can be a Christian and be gay. If that's what you're worried about, then don't worry. God loves you just as you are. When I first came out, I came out at a very Christian University and it was difficult I felt hostility from all sides but I also found love even there my floor loved me right when I needed the most and you are going to meet people in your life who are going to be dicks they are going to be assholes they are going to be cunts they are going you are going to hate everything about them and then the next day you can meet the person you're going to spend the rest of your life with Unfortunately, life is a bitch, but she can be sweet sometimes too. So just remember, please remember, contact the Trevor Project if you ever are feeling suicidal or depressed. Um, obviously, it gets better. Watch the videos and see the people, and believe me, I understand what it's like to be depressed when where you want to kill yourself, but you have to stay strong. You have to stay strong for, so that your children and my children can grow up in a world where there is no discrimination based on your sexual orientation. Fifty years ago, if you would have told an African American that there was going to be a black president, they wouldn't have believed you. I'm telling you right now, you have to have hope. I want to be able to meet you someday, and I want my children to be able to meet you someday. Bigots won't win, and they can't win. They need we need people like you and me to fight, to fight for our rights. So please remember that it does get better, and you have only just begun your life. It gets better. I love you, whoever you are. It doesn't matter to me whether you're straight, gay, bi, pansexual, transgender, an atheist, a Muslim, a Buddhist, whoever you are. I love you. <laughs> in Des Moines or San Antonio, there's a young gay person who all of a sudden realizes that she or he is gay, knows that if the parents find out, they'll be tossed out of the house, the classmates would taunt the child, and the Anita Bryans and John Briggs are doing their bit on TV, and that child had several options, staying in a closet, suicide, and then one day that child might open a paper and it says homosexual elected in San Francisco and there are two new options. 
The option is to go to California. <laughs> Stay in San Antonio and fight. Two days after I was elected, I got a phone call, and the voice was quite young. It was from Altoona, Pennsylvania. And the person said, thanks. And you've got to elect gay people so that that young child and the thousands upon thousands like that child know that there's hope for a better world. There's hope for a better tomorrow. Without hope, not only gays, but those blacks and the Asians and the disabled and the seniors, the us's, the us's, without hope, the us's give up. I know that you cannot live on hope alone, but without it, life is not worth living. And you, and you, and you, you've got to give them hope. Thank you very much.